Previously, we are talking about importance of taking record keeping in a good and precise manner. Today, we will be looking into the responsibilities which are involved in the process of record keeping. Psychologists have a professional and ethical responsibility for the maintenance and retention of the records. In some situations, we are left with the only possibility that the records are the only way that psychologists or others may know about the certain case and what the psychologist did in a particular case and their rationale for doing those particular actions. In the absence of those records, at times we are left with no clue that what had happened with a particular case in scenario of a particular client. Now, talking about the content of the records, a psychologist strives to maintain accurate, current, and pertinent records of a professional services, whatever they have delivered to the client, and as appropriate to the situation, whatever it would be, and as may be required by the psychologist authority. So, it all depends the circumstances, the situation, the processes involved into it, but yet it is important that they all should be documented well and a proper record could be kept. The ethic code set forth reasons why psychologists create and maintain records. So like all other things, the APA is also interested in defining the processes how the record could be maintained in an ethical manner. Based on various provisions in the ethical codes, in decision making about contents of the records, by saying this, it means that what could be kept actually in a record and what should not. A psychologist may determine what is necessary in order to provide good care is the first thing, assist collaborating professional in delivery of care. For instance, that a patient is being taken care of one psychologist and then it is being handed over to other person, the record would be an important entity which will describe that what would be the processes which were involved in taking care of that patient earlier and provide for supervision and training if relevant. So in case of necessary training and necessary supervision, the whole record would be available in the process of that record keeping. Now, second step is to ensure continuity of professional services. In case, we see that there could be the different scenarios where the psychologist is not available for any further sessions. Let's say there could be any injury, any disability, God forbid in a case of a death or within the change of the provider. We need to see the record in a professional manner so that the care could be given in a sustainable way. Then provide documentation required for the reimbursement for required administrative processes under contract or law because that would be the only proof that certain processes has been given, certain therapeutic intervention has been made or us client ki proper take care ki jati rahi hai or record could be a used as a proof that he has been taken care of and now payment processes should be done and it should be executed in a professional manner. Effectively document any decision making, especially in high risk situation. Now talking about those clients who are a potential threat and harm to other people, we have to foresee that in certain circumstances, we need to document everything that why we have decided a certain uh, thing about, uh, about processing uh, the therapy or executing the processes for the patient. And then we can see that what could be the rationale behind that. So, if you look at this racket and see that for this patient ke liye exposure therapy is planned, then they have a logic or rationale given to them. Why were there certain hierarchies of systematic desensitization? Why were there certain hierarchies of racket? Why were there certain hierarchies of racket? And if someone consults him, then he or she would be having a rationale and a reason which is being given in a racket. Now, allow the psychologist to effectively answer a legal or regulatory complaint so the process of keeping the record in a good manner would be a very professional document which will safeguard the psychologist for all his actions that why he has done a certain thing to the client. So if there is a law related issue or a regulatory issue, aata hai, so that document can protect the psychologist's well-being. This is the reason that that certain 
process has been done so by keeping the record this is not only ethical that the document should be made because it protects the client but it also protect the stakes of the psychologist too